Hey there, I'm Aki and I'm in the bottom right now. Yes, this is me. You can't prove that I'm not actually a merman. <laughs> With the new A Pirate's Life Told His just having come out, I assume a lot of new people are coming to see of Thieves. Hi! <laughs> so, I thought I'd compile a list of tips and tricks for beginners that I wish I knew before sailing. Starting with the most important stuff, don't equip this flag. <laughs> I know it looks cool, but it's gonna show your location to everyone on the map. So unless you like being attacked every 10 seconds, don't use this flag. <laughs> Next up, wind. If the wind is coming straight at you, it might be your first instinct to angle the sail to the side. Like this, it would make sense that it would reduce the drag you have from the wind and your ship would be able to go faster, right? Well, no. Actually, you go faster if you angle your sails to the front directly into the wind. I know it doesn't make any sense, but that's how the game works. If you want to get the Pirate Legend title, you have to rank up with the different factions. So it's helpful to grab your monthly reputation from this lady at the tavern. Lorena sells letters of recommendations for doubloons, and if you use one of these, your reputation with that faction increases by one. Now for some combat tips. If you're in a sloop, you can trick the enemy by getting on the outside ladder from the bottom deck. You just have to stand next to this window, and if you're at the right angle, you can grab the ladder and you're outside. If you're on the enemy ship, this is a good way to confuse them by making them think you went downstairs, while well, actually, you went to the top to lower the anchor. While you're in a firefight, also make sure to listen for the enemy cannon sound. If they shoot a player, it sounds very different from when they just shoot normal cannonballs. So, if you hear this sound, Get ready for borders. Or just change direction so they can't even reach your ship in the first place. Talking about boarding, you can not only shoot yourself out of a cannon, you can also use the sword launch to launch yourself to the enemy ship. All you have to do is jump at the right time while using the heavy attack with your sword and you're basically there. This is also really useful to get around with because, come on, who really wants to swim all that way? Another tip that helps you get around is to use anchor turns. Usually ships are pretty hard to control and sluggish and take a while to turn around. But if you turn the wheel all the way and then lower the anchor, you'll turn instantly. If you plan on doing a 180, this saves a lot of time. And if there's land or a rock around, you can also use your harpoon to turn your ship around that. Also make sure that if you park at an island to sell or pick up a voyage or whatever, that you raise the anchor as long as you're not in a storm. That way, if you see a ship coming towards you, or even if you get surprised, you're ready to move right away. Just, you have to make sure that your sails are all the way up, because otherwise, your ship's just gonna go off on an adventure of its own. While sailing, also keep an eye out for any strange clouds on the horizon. Skulls, ships, this dude, or any other strangely shaped clouds are world events. If you don't see any of these, that means the Kraken is hunting and looking for someone to attack. So if you don't want to be the prey of some massive tentacles, maybe try to stay out of the deeper waters during this time. <laughs> also, keep in mind that if you do encounter the Kraken, Megalodon or AI ships, they get stronger the bigger your ship is. So if you're being attacked by the Kraken in a sloop, it's way easier to kill than in a galleon or brig, even with the increased amount of players. And those were all the tips I had for beginners. If you also know some tips, feel free to share them in the comments down below to help out some new players. Also, if you'd like to support me, I have a Patreon where you can get some really cool perks like early access to new videos, gaming sessions with me, or shoutouts like these awesome people. Blink, Capital Clyde, Jeff the Sea Dragon, Ripe Cucumber, Tony House, and Wynog. But for now, thank you very much for watching, and as always, I'll see you next time. Good. Bye.